again we have Sarah Palin with Family Guy and this controversy is extended the first controversy is with a young lady who says that her mom is the ex-governor of um, Alaska now they have a new episode in which they have a baby who's supposed to be tricked and they're just going to play this game with her and keep her ex, you know, kind of upset and, and all that's happening is their ratings are going up and I think that people are not taking uh, Sarah Palin serious because as a politician, as a public person, people will say all kinds of things about you but you just can't follow them up. Now she's trying to make it appear as if she cares about the underprivileged and the disadvantaged and so forth. I'm sure that while she was governor in Alaska, they were taking away people's kids for no reason at all. Uh, just like they do in Florida. Uh, I would like to see her join with the uh, foster kids and see if she could get them some justice. Florida takes people, kids away like like if it's nobody business. You have a, an attorney there who was working for the department, um, Summer Saladino. She will lie and say all kinds of things. These shyster lawyers lying, lying, lying and take your kids away and just get that money for the state. This is something she should take on. I mean, there are so many parents and so many families that are upset and then sort of affected so I think Sarah Palin and uh, Navarrete at CNN they should focus and see how they could help these kids who will end up dead who will end up pregnant who will end up drug addict uh, hooker uh, jailbird just because they took the kids away from the loving parents so if they want something to talk about uh, they should talk about you know these kids that are being placed in disadvantaged situations now, according to Palin's daughter, her brother is going to have limitations placed in him. I mean, what limitations are they going to place in him? So what is his potential? Does he, ha does he have the potential to be the next governor, a president, congressman, athlete, Olympian, scholar, Harvard graduate, law student, whatever? I mean, these individuals that have this disorder, and the syndrome basically they have a certain level that they're going to operate on and uh, I mean it's good to spend all your money on them uh, but you're not going to move the intelligence or anything else higher it's just going to be just there so I think that um, you know I mean with due respects to her and her son and uh, you want to give him all his human rights and whatever but to think that this young boy is going to save the world I mean this is fictitious thinking so I think Sarah needs to grow up because wanting to be the president, having nuke and all this power, you know, somebody says something she doesn't like. And I see what the enemy can do is just say stuff about her and got her fighting. Somebody in Korea says something, she's going to fight in it. Somebody in Yemen says something, she's going to fight in there. Somebody in the Philippines, she's going to fight until, you know, it's like, can't fight anymore. Everything is stretched to the max. And then the next thing, you know, something else says she can't respond to it. And then things escalating and bust the whole um, organization. So Sarah Palin gets serious.